Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vorchcraft Evolved. I'm Max Evolved, and today, you know, we're sitting here looking at the fruits of some of our, some of the labors over the past couple episodes, but before I get further into this video, I need you to do me a quick favor. Scroll down just a little bit and double check and see if that subscribe button is checked. If it's not, click it, help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers. And with that out of the way, let's hop right into this episode. And of course, we can't start any episode without looking at our uh, to-do board here, right? So we're getting some things checked off here. And I I'm kind of trying to decide what it should the next priority be, right? Uh, one of the things I think that I really need to start doing is this stuff right here. Because, so power cores, induction plates, uh, other power components, right? So we need to kind of make that infrastructure exists so that we can kind of that, that's kind of the the precursor to everything else we want to do right so if we look over here now I've done a couple things I, I've replaced some of these hoppers I, I put 2,000 slaughters here I put 2,000 slaughters here and the main reason for that is that we're just we're still not consuming enough stuff on the back end so our factory part to prevent backups, right? And so once these lines, like you can see with the iron here and the copper, once those lines back up, then it starts backing up other stuff, which means other stuff backs up, right? And that's what we want to prevent. Long term, I would like to maybe figure out a solution for that. I don't know if that's going to be, I don't know, like a like a bypass of sorts with some, oh, I, I, I just don't know, with like priority splitters or something. I, I don't know, maybe mass storage. I don't know, if you guys can think of a good way to set up like a, a bypass for all this extra ore, let me know. I mean, I uh, obviously the best thing to do would be to <laughs> just consume it all fast enough, but we're not quite there yet. So, and uh, actually, how's our, uh, our nickel is getting better, kind of. We hit a little vein, you can see there's, there's a little bit more trickling in. We hit a little vein at one point from this this guy but it looks like he's past that so no more no more what, what are we even getting these days what is that probably hopefully that's something that macerates into a tier two ore. but anyway let's get let's get over there and just kind of start game planning how we're going to do this and actually before we go over there and plan how we're going to start building this stuff we got to talk about why we're building this stuff right so long term i kind of talked about the desire to use matter movers and stuff like that right and a lot of that has to do with there's some performance, but also some visuals. I think it would look, I think it would just look cool, right? So I kind of just want to do it for that reason. But you know, you can see here, if we if I kind of step right here, and I pull this out and see what are we at? Uh, twenty about twenty five meters, right? So if we look, if we look over here, and we look at the matter movers, right? One of the, there was a comment on the last video about using matter movers and how kind of the downsides aren't just necessarily the power, but also the the distance, right? So if we look at the different matter movers, right? We can see performance, 150 a minute, which I think that's better than a belt, right? 64 meters, that's nice. Dual matter mover, 300 a minute. However, 32 meters, right? So I think... I think that, I mean, I, I guess I don't really know the power. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of guesstimate. But that is less than 32 meters. So that 300 a minute should be more than enough to to take this belt line and those belt lines, right? The hard part is going to be having it all coalesce nicely, right? Because right now this is being fed from the bottom and the top. And, you know it's having results, right? So in order to kind of get matter movers set up and power it all, we need like induction chargers and, and all kinds of stuff. So that's kind of the reason for automating all that stuff, right? Mostly the induction chargers, because if we look, induction chargers need, is that here? Here. Mark II power boosters, power storage Mark IIs, right? Well, what does power storage Mark II need? Power storage block Mark I, primary upgrade modules. Obviously, that's, I guess, trivial, right? Power storage block, less so, right? So we're finally kind of getting into 
the larger, some of the more complicated uh, structures or I guess manufacturing processes that are gonna use multiple different elements, multiple different ores and bars, multiple different ways, right? So let's get over here and kind of start planning that out. Okay, so if we are going to game plan here, and let me let me just slap this down like, uh, here, let me put it out here actually, so I can kind of reference it, right? So if this is our end state, right? There's there's two elements we need to, to consider, right? Power storage block, creation, manufacturing, whatever. Automating this so that it's just easy. This is obviously its own thing. And it's it's something we'll do because this Mark III, Mark IV are kind of their own deal, right? And they're not necessary for what we're trying to do in the short term. So we can worry about those after the fact. But for now, getting these manufacturing. And I generally don't need these. Uh, so... We'll set them to output. It might be kind of nice to have, right? So we can have maybe Mark 1s here, Mark 2s here. And then the other part, though, is the power cores or power boosters, right? And those are made with these power core chargers. And we had made these before. Um, and where is that? Here? Yeah. Somewhere in here, maybe. I don't know. It's somewhere. Yeah, right here. These guys right here. So these just need like copper wire. Like you literally put them down. They just need the copper wire and then it, it'll just make everything right. So that's pretty easy. Like that, that creation process is, is almost trivial. It just needs, um, power. That's the, that's the big bottleneck there. Is there, I see a blinking. Oh yeah. We'll have to go get that. So the hardest part I think is going to be the power boosters or not. I'm sorry. The, the batteries, right? Power storage block. So let's start with this, right? Because we need those. So power, all right. So we're going to need three. So we need lithium, copper, and tin, right? So I'm thinking we will build this in the copper area, right? So this is the copper line. And we're going to need a manufacturer for this, right? So let's let's kind of put this um, here, right? And before we even get started, I'm going to go up and I want to make sure that we have a way down. Yep. Yeah, okay. So then I guess I'll just put a grommet. Probably not necessary, but I'm, I, I'm going to do it anyway. Right. And that's kind of what I have these lasers for. We'll do that. I'll uh, we'll put another one there and we'll put another one there. Okay. So that's to power this. Now we'll need input hoppers and this is gonna be power storage block, right? We're gonna start automation on that. So copper wire, okay, so let's start with the copper wire, right? So we'll need, huh, well, maybe, maybe I can't use that one. Uh, extruders. All right, so I have some extrusion plants. Where are those? All right, so I want, hmm, I need bigger hoppers for the inputs, right? What is this? So it needs one, one. Okay, so I can do um, add only, right? Remove. Remove, right? So this will be for the charged lithium coils and the lightweight machine housings. But for the input for the copper wire, I need the at least like a 10 slaughter. So we'll use that. That's... Um, I want to make sure I'm using the tricky hoppers just so I have the right... Yeah, okay. So I make sure I have the right uh, output. Great, all right, so we'll do that. And then we have to be a little careful, but we can do an input. I'm just doing this over here to kind of get it out of the way, right? So we'll do something like that. We'll take the extruders and I'll do something like this, like this, like this. Take the belts, make it easy. And I don't even think, uh, I don't think there's going to be so much throughput that I need to have all the belts coming over here, but okay. So that's the copper wire, right? So now we're going to need to do lightweight machine housings. And so that for that, I mean, luckily this is so simple, right? We just go to the tin line, make sure we have the crafter and 
for that we're gonna this needs tin plates right so we're gonna do crafting i guess one of them's probably fine honestly and i'll just put one there does this need a hopper and we'll need a bigger one right remove add and then this is just like that does this need power no okay so the same thing for over here we're going to need like stamper plates or stamper plants and i think i have those on a hopper or a hot bar right here that should again that should be enough and then we'll just hit that okay so then the only other hard part is going to be the charged lithium coils and so for sure we'll need and how, how am i doing it over here so okay so it's all right easy enough easy enough so i can come out from a single hopper and i'm just going to grab a nano hopper and we're just going to go somewhere like there right and then i already know it's going to be those will need coilers that's pcb i know i got coilers in here somewhere pcb coilers and then those are going to need to go into well i guess i'm using like a bigger hopper for that right at the other side so we can have them come into here Make that remove only. And we'll, uh, again, kind of coalesce those belts. So that'll be remove only. I need to get another coil, lithium coil charger. All right, so that's removing. That is the, that part. We'll make that add only. And then I know I normally like to go up and over, and I think I'll continue to do that here. Just because I don't want there to be... I don't want to come back and redo it, right? So if I'm going over the lines, it sh I should just do it the right way. And then luckily I could just kind of do that. Get rid of that. And we just hook that up. Okay, so that should be, I'll need to make sure that I have a hole open down here. Okay, so now I just need to power this guy and this needs three power per second, so I'm just gonna do this number. Right, is that lined up? Looks good. Looks good. And then same, kind of same process that we've been doing. Energy grommet, battery, and then a, one of these. So that should take care of that. Then it, I should just need to go up here, up top and slap a couple solar panels right there right there and then those should be getting power and in fact let me while i'm he up here let me get this part going and that'll be the output for these batteries so let me run down and hook this stuff up real quick all right and so that's starting to do its thing here right and it's still waiting for the charged lithium coils but that should be okay yeah that's starting all right so that's interesting now i realize i forgot to do something when it comes to this output i need to split it right so i'll need to kind of do this number right where i prioritize the right side or prioritize the output but send the rest over here because we're going to need that to make the mark twos right mark two batteries and it should be doing its thing there you go it's looks like it's starting you got 10 pps oh maybe i don't want that maybe i'll do that I think with more power, it makes it go faster. Yeah. Have you output yet? Uh, oh, wait, wait. I need this here. 
There we go. Okay, so now we got some batteries going. But again, I only put a 10 slot hopper out here because I want the majority of these to be coming and making the, the Mark IIs, right? So what do we need for Mark IIs? We need primary upgrade modules and power storage block Mark Ones, right? So that's easy enough. We just need to put one of those um, somewhere. So let's give ourselves a little bit of space and we can kind of adjust the output. In fact, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. We'll do that. We'll do this, remove only, uh, primary upgrade modules. We'll just need one so I can do a nano hopper. We'll put that on that side. And then that will be the output. And again, we'll have to add power for this. So for this one, we'll just, once that backs up, then it'll start flowing into here, which is fine. That'll give us 10 plus however much this is. And this looks like it's just being, yeah, so it looks like it's just being held up by literally manufacturing process. So, so that's fine. We'll kind of let that do its thing. Now we need to remake uh, this process over here. So this is just PCB assembling, right? Get all the way up to PCBs and then do that and output. Okay. So we can just kind of do the same line here and we'll take a nano hopper and we'll do something like this. I don't want to get too crazy in terms of um, getting like distance. So we'll need that. We'll go this way, that, that, and then we need coilers and PCB assembling plants. So we got coiler, PCB, 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 right? And then all of those are going to input, let's just put that right um, here. I guess. Okay, so those will go in there. Let me make a PCB, a basic PCB assembler. Oh, I'm sorry, primary upgrade module maker. We, we need that, so. Because I don't want to make a, my own hotbar for this. Come on, just, just give me that. We'll put that here. Now, normally, this is kind of going against my desire to keep it all segregated and go over, but just, I, I don't want like a bunch of extra belts and this is kind of like a purpose built thing, so it should be fine, you know what I mean? Remove only, add only. And then we'll just have those come over and in like that. Okay, so that'll provide the basic PCBs and then I gotta, what is this thing? Five PPS, so again, I gotta power this guy. All right, so now that stuff's going. And we need to worry about this output too, but again, we have to um, split it, right? So luckily, we can just do a little something like this. And I kind of want it to go right next to that one. So let's put the little hole there. And again, this will just be like the, the 10X output. We'll just do like a, like a 10, a, a size 10 hopper, right? Because now we have to figure out what does it take to make these guys power boosters, right? So power boosters are their own thing. And I think we're going to build that like right over here. So let me, let me extend this out a little bit. Okay. So we need to set up at least the output for this. And so what I'm going to do is we're, we still have to make the power cord charger or the power charge and we're gonna do that somewhere over here. But for now, I can at least set up the the uh, induction plate crafting, right? So induction charger, start automation, right? Okay, so five and five, right? So that's easy. We'll just do a little 10 slaughter, boom, boom, right? And then we'll need another 10 slaughter somewhere over here, right? These are both removed only. Remove only, remove only. That'll be add only. And this output should not matter, right? So I guess we'll, we'll put that output right there. 
and right there and we'll have it do that right and we'll need it we'll actually need a bigger hopper for that right so if i do a hundred slot that's only four induction chargers so i think what i'm gonna do is instead use a 500 slaughter because that should be what 20 right 20 induction chargers four times yeah when it's full that'll be 20 right so there's that now uh, let's see this is outputting its stuff that should be fine and this is already starting to fill up perfect okay so now we need to do the power core charging right so let me put on luckily mark one mark two mark three okay this should be relatively simple right this just literally needs a wire so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do something like this i'm gonna do i'm gonna have this come in and this all takes copper wire too right so i can actually start this right here i'm gonna do something like this where hmm, let's think here something like that and does this oh this needs a coil okay easy enough that's fine that's fine i got coilers right here right yeah so we'll do input extruder coiler just like that and then we'll do this number like so okay so it'll come in and it'll get to it here now from there it'll we'll have it kind of cascade right so we'll have it do this and the mark two chargers right well let's look at that what does that take let's give it a little space mark one power boosters right so then what we'll do here and this is probably a little extra belt work like maybe some unnecessary belt work but it's fine because I, I want to be able to very clearly follow what's going on here, right? So it'll come out this way. And then it will go... Oh, that's actually perfect. All right, so this will go up. We'll throw a logistics grommet. And then it'll continue. And we'll throw another logistics grommet in there. And I don't need a ton of those, right? So the priority is it'll come farther down here. And see, like, this this requires 250 power per second so that'll be a fun time and we'll just kind of do the same thing though i'll go like that we'll go like that and we'll do that and then this guy oh geez this will also need to split <laughs> oh i love it so we'll do that okay so why does this need to split, right? Well, this needs to both feed this and output. So okay, let me think here. This is going to be very belt spaghetti, but it's fine. It's always fine, you know? We'll do that. We'll do that. And we'll just kind of hook it up that way. Put a little grommet. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so at least we'll have those two powered up. Now, this guy takes what? 100 PPS? Okay. Oh, this might be a good candidate to actually use these batteries. All right, so we'll do that. We'll do that. Now, for both of these, I think that's the option. That's the answer for now. Either that or a beam powered down with those. I don't have a ton of those lasers, though. That's kind of my issue. Let's see. Can I make more? How many of these can I make? Crafting. 25 it is. Now, laser problem solved. Okay. So, yeah. We'll definitely have those. Then the issue becomes, how do we beam the power efficiently, right? I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll we can do something like this. Look, we can go up. Is that lined up? Nope. So we'll do that. We line up that way. Yep. And this is one, two blocks. One, two, there. 
We'll do energy grommets. Now, I believe... And we're going to obviously find out right now. I believe you can just do that. What do these do? Okay, these do 300 naturally. So what I'm going to do is we're going to have to come up here. Right? We're going to come up here, put batteries down. Like so. And then I'm going to have to do something in terms of... Uh, pyrothermics, right? So if I do something like that, what are you? Nano, perfect. So something like that, something like that. Boom, boom. Now I just need to get, pretty simply, I just need to come over and just grab coal. That's kind of the reason why I have both of these. I have solar and I have coal. Because that'll just let us, you know, depending on what we need, we, we just have access to it, right? So let's let that run. I'll need to make sure that this input is hooked up. And then we can kind of see what that's all looking like. All right. And it looks like we're getting these power cord chargers like pretty quick. Looks like we've got sufficient power. How's this looking over here? Oh, we didn't ever power this thing up. All right, so it looks like... I mean, so the bottleneck is, is this right here, the initial power storage block. But once, once this guy gets the five Mark IIs that it needs, it looks like it, it does a, a good job of... Like, it'll pump out the 25, right? It gives you 25 of the induction charger parts, right? And I just saw some come out. I saw a whole bunch, right? So that's that's actually like really nice. I don't know of a good way to fix this, right? And we're not going to get any kind of backup until this is backed up. Because this is kind of the last part of it. You can see the uh, <laughs> all the power core chargers are doing their thing. I could do Mark 3s. We're going to eventually need Mark 3s, Mark 4, Mark 5, right? It's just going to be... A whole process right I might even have to at some point put turbines up here because I think the higher tier ones like I think the mark 3 power core charger did I put that on yeah look at that 500 power per second the mark 4 is probably a thousand right and that's that's like turbine territory so you know we will set that up eventually just not yet you know but this is like a nice thing <laughs> a nice uh, increase in consumption once you know we, we need it all and I almost feel like I should have done these the opposite way but it, it's fine because this trickles it trickles until this is backed up and then this will need to back up and then this can back up right and then once we're at that point we, we should be okay now the only other thing Let's see here. The only th other thing that I was contemplating also getting automated are matter movers. And that's kind of nice because it takes iron gears and we do need like an iron sink. Oh, uh, what else? What do these take? Hmm. That's a lot of lithium, to be honest. 16 charged lithium coils. Plus the one, so 17 charged lithium coils. I'm tempted to get that done, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it this episode. Yeah, that that's kind of a whole new process I got to figure out. So I think I'm going to call it an episode here, guys. Uh, thank you so much. I'm actually, if, if you're watching this the same day it came out, just know I recorded this the morning it came out. Uh, been a little sick, you know, kind of, I'm doing better, but it's still, you know, it's, it's kind of rough. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you guys think of this new uh, this this new build here. I, I like how complicated this is starting to look. It's so funny, right? Over here, two things are powered. And then as we start getting towards the more complicated things, more and more and more power is getting in here. And I'm just loving the way that it's looking. So uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Remember, please subscribe. Help me hit that goal of 1,000. And with that, we'll see you in the next one.